Hello, YouTube. Okay, so one thing that a lot of people always ask is how to build a budget squad. Now, it all depends on your budget. That's always a great question that comes up. But one thing is, who are some good players at least, right? So instead of telling someone how to build a team with so many coins, I figured I would go ahead and show you guys the best players in each position under 20,000 coins, right? So these may be a starter for you. They may be a backup. Uh, maybe this is the wide receiver three, whatever it may be, right? Or maybe you're looking to downgrade someone somewhere to take coins and upgrade somewhere else. So here are the best players that I, th in my opinion, right? Under 20,000 coins. So this entire team that I have on here, I don't have any backups. I don't have a full back in, but according to my head cost 336,000 coins on Xbox one, which is uh, it's it's pretty cheap, really. Um, you know, obviously, if you had 500,000, a million, two million coins, whatever the case may be, you could obviously build a much better team. But I think a lot of these guys you could actually get away with using, right? You maybe not get away with using them all, because if you're playing an open mutt, you come across a couple golden tickets, you might get wrecked, right? Everyone always says team over scheme. Scheme, scheme is very, very, very very important that's why every year i would always say instead of buying one bundle not even a big bundle just a little bundle on mutt you go out probably go to maddenturf.com you pick up a guide you learn how to play the game a bit better right it's not going to make you win 100 games in a row but it's definitely going to help you and then you can also sort of follow along and use some budget players and actually make your coins go a little further. So let's go over these guys, right? So start with the offensive line. We know I've got the secure pass protectors that are golds out here. Uh, I think those guys are perfectly fine, right? I use two of them on my teams. Hutchinson and Bruce Matthews are on my team with all my coins and God Squad or whatever you want to call it, right? So I think any of these guys really works. Right guard's a little shaky. Um, if it were me and I was really on a budget, I'd probably put like uh, there's a gold Ronnie Stanley that has secure pass protector. Move him from left tackle to right guard. Put him in there and just and just pray, right? Then at tight end, we've got that original Dallas Clark, which is an amazing card. Right? He's not the fastest guy. He doesn't block the best, but he runs routes. He catches balls. He's great. Uh, awesome card. You know, there's other ones that was like a team of the week. Jared Cook was pretty good. Uh, maybe some of the gold shockies from the Ultimate Legends. Stuff like that. Gold Ultimate Legends are great value cards that you could really plug in and save some coins. Going down a little bit, the quarterback, that MVP Stafford is a great card. Uh, I don't like the way he throws personally, but for like 9,000 coins, he throws pretty good. Uh, and then we have the Football Outsiders, Jordan Howard. Again, really good, solid running back. Uh, does a little bit of everything. Does, is obviously not the fastest running back in the game. Uh, but he's battle ready, he trucks, um, so he's pretty good. Then the receiving core, we've got the team of the week, Brandon Cooks, the milestones for daily login, Emmanuel Sanders. Uh, both great cards still, right? They really do everything you need. They're not 100 speed, 97 speed, but they're both 93, 94 speed. And then you've got that Chris Conley as well, who is also fast, so I'm putting him in the slot, not expecting him to do much, but he's also a bit of a big body, right? So as you see here, we're also sort of maxing out a little bit of our chems as well. So if you want to do more, maybe you put a chemistry jersey in to get the offense a little bit better uh, by boosting some of your chems, right? So offense is pretty basic. Defense is a little more difficult, right? Because everything that matters on defense is speed-based. And fast cards cost a lot of coins. So it's tough, right? Especially at linebacker, right? So I essentially tried to find the fastest linebackers for each spot here and plug them in as best as possible. Uh, it's just gonna, this is really as good as you're gonna get for that budget. If I were going to spend extra coins anywhere, I'm starting at linebacker and I'm starting at cornerback. Because your free safety and your strong safety, these ultimate legend chemistry, Bob and Sean, they're great. For what they are, they're great. They're fast, you've got good chems, they feed off of each other, they're great, right? On the defensive line, we just took a couple guys who are just very solid. I've used myself. Uh, you could really still just use them today. You could have never had to upgrade these cards if you had them. And you'd be essentially fine. Uh, 
and then cornerback is the hardest 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 part because I was trying to find the fastest corners that we could use for under 20,000 coins a pop and these are the three fastest they're all 93 speed they're probably three guys that you're looking at and you say I have no idea who the hell these guys are and that's fine so if you had some extra coins maybe you want to spend 30 or 35 40 50k on your corners I would probably do so especially because if you're gonna start getting burned from people just based on the speed factor these are the guys that are gonna be covering them so this is how I would build a real budget team not necessarily use this team because it may not be working for chemistry as well as possible but it's a great start to give you points and ideas of how to build a better team right maybe right now you're not very interested in playing Madden so maybe you take the team out like this build a budget squad build a team you really enjoy and go hit head to head right you ain't got nothing else to do for two months if you're playing MLB the show that game sucks so you might as well so hope you guys enjoyed this and can at least take one little bit of information away from it and uh, maybe make your Madden enjoy experience a little more enjoyable um, either way I'm CC and I'm out peace